Hello everyone, Funshine X here. Welcome back to Scrap Engineers, building some contraptions. Um, I just, oh, last night we streamed, I uh, did a live stream where I built this next contraption that we're going to see. Um, so if you want to see the building of it, the um, conceptualizing and the prototyping, all that kind of stuff, watch the stream. Uh, but if you don't have two and a half hours to spend watching it, then uh, just watch this video. This is Angry Birds in Scrap Engineers. What we have here is a set of destructible walls. I'm going to show you how to build these first. I've got a frame here, and I'm just going to um, grab some wood and completely drag this out so it's just kind of hanging. And then you can just slice off pieces, and they will fall down. Now, these are now destructible, so if you hit them, they will fall over. And you just do that and add some more once you get up to the top. And you got to remember where you dragged them from. <laughs> Come on. And one more. And then get rid of that top one. All right, so that wall is now the same way as all these are built. And once you're done, you can go ahead and frame it. Just be careful where you attach the blocks to. And it's good to go. All right, five ducks. That's your target. Well, let's just put a few more over here. I don't know. I haven't made the rules. I'm making them up as I go. <laughs> your objective is to knock over the ducks without seeing them. Something like that. So it's a mix of Battleship and, uh, and Angry Birds at the same time. All right. So over here we have a catapult. We went through a lot of different uh, um, types of weapons. So you can go see them in the stream. Um, we had a catapult. We had a rocket-powered catapult. We had a rocket-powered railgun. And a, I don't know, crazy hammer <laughs> that just flung around with rockets in a, in a circle. This actually turned out to be the most... Uh, um, well, the most reliable, easy to re easiest to reload, and just a straight-up catapult. Now, here's how we built it. We have, right, and let's look at the wiring here. Right here, I've got a rotating pivot just so I can aim this thing. So you can rotate it so you can uh, aim at the different doors. And that launches up there. Then we've got another pivot here where the main catapult arm attaches to. I've got a nice counterweight here that kind of helps give it a little bit of momentum. And you've got the arm, all the, the metal in the front, and then it's wood in the back. And then this is the, the launch uh, bucket where you put whatever projectile you want to throw. Here I've got a big, huge block that is to, designed to stop the catapult. Um, if you just let it go, sometimes it'll like fling and then snap back and your, your projectile does not go very far. So that's just something we added after prototyping typing uh in the stream so if you want to change the launch angle you can always just add additional blocks here and uh and add them on um to change you know where it, where the stop is so let's go ahead and hit this button um and that should bring it back down bam every time it hits there but it seems to do okay sometimes it glitches into the wall you just put it build a new one um but as far as wiring this stuff goes you can see i have this uh rotor i always call them rotors um Gosh darn it. What are the name of the... Bearings. They call them bearings in this game. This bearing is wired to this controller as is the the one that does the rotation. And then they're wired to the button. The button is wired to the chair over there. Uh, here I have the default angle of the catapult is negative 19 degrees. That brings it right down to the ground so you can load it. And then here, this is how you control its launch speed. So if you want, uh, you know, a nice short shot, you do something like 75 degrees. Um, you hold shift if you want to adjust this thing by one degree increments. A 90 degrees or more should put you um, right at the top of the first wall. And then the number one uh, rotation is where you want to aim. So I've let two degrees is about the middle. Um, negative two is the left panel and plus five or six is the right panel. So let's go with two degrees to hit right in the middle. And 92 is a pretty good speed. All right, so now we gonna load the thing. To load it, you come up this little ramp here and you go ahead and get rid of that block and put something like that in there. And I've been flying these crates. These crates are pretty reliable. So you put one right in the middle there and then you drop it. Now that's become its own entity. It will not attach to this block. It'll, it's free to fly. I wanna make sure it's all the way in the back of the uh the, the chair i don't know we'll call it the armchair here <laughs> it's the bucket to make sure it flies um accurately and then you just go ahead and get in the seat now we go ahead and give it a countdown five four three two one launch and there it goes we hopefully we hit there 
Oh, we bounced off the top. Oh, so close. So we want to adjust this a little bit. So let's bring down our launch speed to maybe something like 87. And reset the catapult. And we'll go ahead and uh, put another projectile in here. It's pretty it's pretty easy to reload if once you um, got the hang of it. Let's make sure it's settled. Uh, yeah, close enough. <laughs> All right. Oops, don't get out of your seat. Three, two, one, launch. There she goes. Nice! Oh, we took down the wall! Oh, only part of it. We're still a little bit too um, high on the first one. So let's see if we get any ducks. Oh, no, the ducks are at the bottom. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't know about that duck thing. Just, just put the ducks anyway. Or just don't worry about ducks. Just count how many beams you can knock down. All right, so let's reset one more time. We want to get it even even lower. So let's bring it down to like uh, 76. I don't know, I'm picking these numbers out of my hat. Uh, or somewhere else. <laughs> Put that back on there again. Okay, we are loaded again for our next shot. This is shot number three. Hopefully we can aim a little bit lower and take the rest of that wall out. Three, two, one, fire. And... BAM! Yes! Direct hit! Sweet. So I think we can call that done. So, let's see, we got three shots. How many beams did we knock down? We got one, two, three, four, five beams, beams one duck. <laughs> you could also just put your ducks on, on the front. Aim for them ducks. Sweet. All right, so let's uh, let's demonstrate moving it over. So we want to aim for the right. Well, let's aim for the left one. That's a negative two. I found out through trial and error. And let's take it down even further on the, the shot here. Okay. Go ahead and reset it. All righty. Let's see if we can get this one the first shy. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh, I don't think we went to the left enough. Oh, right through! It bounced! Did we get the back one? We might have hit the... Oh. What the heck? I think it went into the ground. <laughs> that was one of the glitches. It hit here, went into the ground, and then submarined. Came out over here. A little piece over there. So we had, we had uh, a lot of fun doing crazy things. We launched, you know, just like bits and pieces of, of things everywhere. Um, so I'll show you one more of those for the end of the video here. We'll go ahead and go back up. Let's see if I can actually get into here. It'll make it easier. There we go. If we bring something out like this, go into our... Uh, should we throw it? Yeah, let's throw toilet paper. We're going to throw toilet paper. So you just go ahead and line these up. Don't have to be completely accurate but and then you can drop them down in now if I had a lot more time I'd make some kind of hopper system so that these were like up uh, in a bucket there and then you just like it pushed one at a time into the into the thing so you could fire over and over and over again but some other time all right so for the finale here's a bunch of rolls of TP three two one fire Oh, wow, those are actually really heavy. <laughs> we actually took out a beam, I think. It's pretty good. Toilet paper everywhere. The neighbors are going to be pissed. All right, guys, got to clean this up. If you guys had a good time watching this, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel to see more scrap engineers and sp uh, scrap mechanic and space engineers. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. It's been Punch on X. Catch you later. Bye.